passing it on. That is our topic for today, passing it on. And what do I mean by that? We all have something to pass on to someone else, to give to someone else. And that's what I'm going to focus on on the topic today. Before we begin, smash that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to get my help personally, you can check me out at marksinspiration.com. I'm offering half off of consultations in the month of September. No simp September. <laughs> if you're simping, stop it. I think we've all simped sometimes in our lives. At least I know I have. Yeah, it's a trait that you don't want to carry on too long though because it never ends well. So, let me see. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check me out on Instagram at marksinspiration.com. And if you're watching this on Instagram, Mark's, Mark Daniels, Mark's Inspiration, and let's go. Passing it on. We all have something to pass on. Each of us have had our own unique life experiences and experiences that some of your friends or your associates have not had. And you can use that to help them through their situations. We're all somehow connected. Maybe some of you don't believe that, but we are. You cannot do anything to or for someone else without doing that very same thing to or for yourself. And it comes back multiplied. This is a principle as old as time. Men don't follow great leaders because they're forced to. Well, I guess in the old days some of them were, and now still they are if you're drafted into the services. But they're usually not following the great leaders. The great leaders inspire men. Men want to follow them. Some are forced, of course. But in general, a leader is not someone who's so much a boss. He's a man that inspires other people to follow him because they receive from him. He gives to them. He shares with them. If not his knowledge, then his uh, spoils of victory. <clears throat> people become successful by helping other people to become successful. And we have a cat fight outside in my room. We have two cats, they don't get along. Yes, they're getting after it. Kind of like a husband and a wife, huh? Sometimes. I may have to go break this up. <laughs> Six kids, two cats, and four chihuahuas. Yes, it can get kind of hectic here sometimes. But back to giving. Like my children, for example. I was sparring with him the other day. I fought amateur and professionally, so I have some skills and some knowledge that I can pass on to him whether it be verbally or physically. And as I said, you have things you can pass on. Maybe you have a job, maybe you work at McDonald's, you're just starting out, you're a young man. You've been working there for about a week or two and some new guy comes in. You know the ropes, you can help him out. Now that doesn't mean he's going to give back to you directly, but somehow this builds up, let's say, goodwill throughout your life. And you'll find that people are willing to help you. I had to reach out for help this weekend. There's a guy I know that we do a uh, podcast together and he's excellent with finances and I need some advice. Now, I had to humble myself to ask him because finances haven't been my, um, how do I say? I never liked school. I make great money, but finance and investing is what I'm talking about. It hasn't been one of my uh, excellent points are one of my strong points. I'll say it that way. So I had to ask for help. I don't like asking for help because it humbles me. But you have to be willing to humble yourself and ask for help. But also be willing to give help. And what you'll find is many times you won't have to ask for help when you need it. And if you do ask, people are more than willing to help you. When I asked this gentleman last night, <clears throat> I told him what my situation was. And, he, and that's what he does for a living. That's how he makes his money, is by advising people in finances. He's very successful. The first thing he said in the message was, and of course I'm not going to charge you. It's like, there you go. 
I didn't say anything about charging or anything, but he, twice, uh, the first time and the second time, he wanted me to know that he was going to do it for free to help me. And I would have to say that's because I've helped so many people in my life. But as I said, the only mistake you make when you help someone, if you make it, is to expect something back from them. If it comes back from them, that's great. But don't expect it back from them. But I guarantee you, it will come back to you down the road. So, back to the worker in McDonald's. If you help the guy just coming in to learn the ropes, <clears throat> excuse me, you're helping him for free and for fun. And sometime down the road, when you need help, someone will help you. You may have to ask. You may have to humble yourself and ask. It's difficult to ask someone for help when, when you think, when you think that they think, how do I say, when you want to present to the world that you're, you've got it all together. Well, none of us have it all together in everything. That's just the way it is. I know a lot about fighting. I'm a good fighter still today. So, and, but I know a lot of people know nothing about fighting. And I understand that. And I'm willing to help other people because that is a skill that I developed over years of training and practice, okay? And I have other skills too in business that I can help people with, but you must always be willing to give these away for free to help people, especially those people that you are associated with in some kind of business or venture. That's just the way life works. And you'll find out the more successful people you hang around with, the more willing they are to help someone. But let me tell you this, when they offer you advice, shut the hell up and listen. Don't start lining up all the reasons why that won't work for you. You're asking them because they know more about it than you do. So shut your mouth, listen to what they have to say. God gave us two ears and one mouth, so, so we should listen twice as much. So remember that next time you ask someone for help, if you're having an issue or problem, get your mind off of the, all the reasons why you can't do it or why you haven't been able to do it and listen to them tell you how you can do it. Isn't that why you ask them in the first place? Of course it is. So that's it for today. I'm back to work. I'm back to making videos on a regular basis, and be sure to check us out this Saturday night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for the Powers Within podcast. Also, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time Saturday afternoon for the Dragon Shift. I have a great show coming up. It's about controlling the frame. Remember, you should always control the frame. That's not controlling other people. That's controlling, basically controlling you. When you can control yourself, everything out there takes care of itself. That's all I have time for today. Have a great day. Take care.